friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Melissa, or Missa, welcome to the best place on the internet, as said by Monster. Again, that is a lie, but I do drink a lot of Monster. Today is a, just a quick get ready with me. I'm going to go and meet some of my friends in Edinburgh, and I wanted to do some nice makeup, and I didn't want to do just a black smoky eye, because to be honest, that's what I always do, just because it's quick and easy. But I want it to be a little bit more fun, so we're going to be playing with blues, glitter, can do the whole face. So if you want to just fanny around with me, put some makeup on, then uh, let's just jump into it. Let's get down to business. I want to put makeup on so that I look like a human being. So let's get ready together. You know I'm priming with my Revlon Candid. Bite me. Don't bite me. The cats have been biting me quite enough. I want to play with Black's dark blues, that kind of thing. I mean, I've just realised I didn't even do an intro, did I? With no makeup on, which was my plan. Anyway, got glitter on my face. There's going to be more of that. More where that came from. I'm going to use my beep 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 P. Louise. I'm also going to use my Natasha Denona for the black. Um, and probably my Utopia and where are you my darling don't look at my hair obviously it's not done my pastels few palettes today but when I am getting ready for something I just use whatever I, I feel like I don't like hold myself to one palette so pulling a tear but this time it's a fun tear it's whatever palette I feel like. I might just start off with the blue. So this dark, dark blue called Level Up. I know what look I have in mind. I kind of did it the other day. It's the one I introed for Sunday's video where I did the declutter. So I kind of want to do that but better because that day I had actually just done like a black smoky eye and then I ended up adding blue and going wild and then I got called into work so I had to go into work like that but do you know what? It brings a smile to people's faces when you put a lot of makeup on. I might not even end up using black, I don't know. This dark blue is so dark already and it's such a nice tone. I just feel like doing blue and then like a nude lip. Me, Gaia and Gina are gonna do a live together, the three of us where we all do our own take on like a blue smoky eye and a nude lip because that is all of our style, like we all love that look so much. So it makes sense if we all do we live together. No matter what I do, my makeup never looks even. I'll just take more of that, but on a pencil brush for my lower lash line because that other one is too big. I'm going to grab this blue, beautiful like royal blue. Named so because when the dye was invented, peasants couldn't afford it. Only the royalty could. Isn't that an interesting fact? Okay, I'm just gonna go all the way around, just blend this out a pinch. There's just nothing prettier than blues, and then there's nothing pr prettier than purples, so and then there's nothing prettier than pinks. But like whatever colour I'm playing with on that day, I'm just like, oh, you are the best colour. Ow! That really hurt. That really hurt. And you don't care, do you? You've got mischief on your mind. You've got mischief on your mind. Right, then I'm going to grab this lighter blue. Just working my way down them. And basically, I've already realised I haven't used any grey. So we're probably just going to do blues. It's fine. Because I decided not to use the black to start off with. Put this all the way around. These P. Louise palettes are fantastic. Well, this blue one especially. I also really like the purple one. I think there's a shimmer in the purple one that like doesn't like get me going that much, but it's still like really good. I can't remember how much these are. I think seventeen pounds, and I think totally worth it. By the way, especially if you want a good like well curated blue palette. Because obviously, no. No. Yeah, I don't have the Jeffree Star blue blood anymore. And uh, this fills, 
fills in the hole. Right, I don't need you right there. I really don't. I can't see in my mirror. Right, then I'm going to go with Paradise from the Utopia. I'm not actually sure if this is much lighter. Oh yeah, it is. It's fine. Really just whack that on. Probably do a bit more of like a sloped up look. So what is the plan today? I don't actually know. I'm just going to go meet my pals. I'm going to drive to Edinburgh and then dump my car. Probably at my parents' house. And then we're going to go out for lunch. Probably a bit of window shopping. And then probably some pubs. Not clubs. I am a bit old these days, I feel. Uh, and then I'm going to grab pastels and cloud fire. The lightest blue. And just have a nice time with pals that I've not seen in a while. Now that the world is a bit more open. Can't wait. I've not seen some of these friends in like forever. It feels so... I'm excited to go and hang out with them. I'm going to grab another fat brush and that like royal blue shade. And just start blending this properly. Because obviously putting on all those lighter shades, it totally like ruins your blending, but it's alright. You need them. It's a necessary, not an evil, but it's a necessary thing if you want to look blended. I love doing makeup, like bold makeup and going out in it now, especially that I have a job, because for work I tend to do very little because you're wearing a face mask and a cap which is not sexy all day so there's no point in like trying to make yourself look really nice so now on my days off I'm really enjoying like putting in more effort and being more colourful and more fun and going out in more colour and more fun what else is going on? I don't know like really what is going on I don't feel like I have much news because I have been working so much and like even being a babe and like covering someone else's shift the other day when I had full plans to just lie in bed all day and eat snacks instead I went into work okay that's a good start and then for the shim shim I don't know what I'll use because I used my teal be more the other day and I absolutely adored it but I feel like I should just kind of use what's in these palettes so I might use this shimmer and then this shimmer as well like this is stunning but it's definitely more like a green blue but I think we'll be able to make it work so I'll pop that on like this centre. I really enjoy these looks where I don't have to be super precise and everything just looks really like kind of grungily faded into each other. I feel like I picked this up quite a lot from Daniela but also Kerry. She'll quite often just blend shimmers in ways that like surprise me. And I enjoy it, so I've been like doing it a bit more. Like, how stunning is that colour? And this looks also really quick, like I'm filming, so it's taking longer, but I could do this like whole makeup look in like an hour and a half. <laughs> I'll say an hour and a half. Why am I wiping on my pajama bottoms? I just took these out of the wash this morning. Right, then I'll use the lighter one. And the front again, that's very green leaning. Mmm. They are stunning. Right, where's my Z palette? I have, I feel like a professional, like it's got a like more curated Z palette. Look at this. I might use this blue. This is JD Glow Watermark, which is like a dark kind of denim blue. Pop this more towards the outside. Then I might use a bit of, is it Barbados? from pastel roses. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's touching me. It's touching me. Mm. And then I might as well use a bit of my Kaima one. I don't actually know the name of it. It's one of their newer like ones and it's the blue. It's like a weird kind of dual chromey fun time. Pop that on. Pretty sure I just said I wasn't going to bring another palette into this, didn't I? Oh well. I'm going to use my Pastel Roses Aquamarine and I'm going to use my Collection Glitter Glue. I trust this glue with my life. I could literally go to sleep 
tonight in this makeup and this glitter would not budge trust me it is so good and it is so inexpensive okay grab the glitter glue shove it on i'm definitely still going to put glitter on this is a flaky pigment that we're going to go in with and it is stunning and i had it open the other day and potato jam up on my desk shoved his nose in it and breathed really deeply well like went and it just went everywhere and i honestly could have cried I used this in my live recently, didn't I? It reflects blue, pink. It's just stunning. Just outrageous. Like obviously it adds like texture, but I actually quite like it. I quite like the look of the texture. I'll grab my new favorite glitter, the L'Oreal one. I spoke about it in a video recently. A heap of you bought it. And I'm gonna pat this above the crease above the pastel roses into the shadow just give the illusion that I've like blended with glitter mm. let's do my deep oh no let's use Milani keep on sapphire in the waterline it's a really deep dark blue with a bit of like shine to it mm. I'll probably do two layers I always do two layers of like waterline um, I've got glitter everywhere, don't worry about it. Then I'll take probably my second most used pigment, or maybe my most used mermaids from Peaches and Cream. And I still have a bit of glue on my desk. Then I put that in the inner corner and pop some mermaids on top. Oh, okay, I'll zoom out, we'll just quickly do the lower lash line, which will be like real easy. All the tones we use, just like the dark blue and then the navy blue. Down here, I might just put on a bit of that L'Oreal glitter. Just for speed. Okay, I'm gonna clean up my fallout and we'll put our base on quickly. Like I won't go into too much detail, but I'll put it on anyway. Okay, I'm not really gonna do anything fancy on my face. I think I'll just do like my basics that I know is going to stay on. So I'll use my Benefit Professional first, especially on my T-zone. Brings down my pores a bit, smooths me out. I spoke about it in my top 10 makeup video that I did last week. And foundation. I'll just use my favourite one since I spoke about it recently. This is my Ciate. I love it so, so, so much highly recommend stunning and i could like build that up and be full coverage cake and you'd be like oh my goodness your skin looks flawless but i use my born this way concealer in snow right in those nose crevices especially do you know none of my friends that are gonna be hanging out with today wear makeup like they might put on like a wee bit of mascara so i always like Usually when I hang out with people, I always look like the the real made up one, which is probably not a surprise considering I've got a YouTube channel for makeup, but I'm always that one in the bunch that's like got so much makeup on compared to everyone else. It's my Fenty Butter Powder, because again, it's a fave. No point trying to fix something if it ain't broken. For bronzer, I'm going to use Hula Light, obviously, but I also want a slightly darker one. I use my kimchi one. This is in 03. I went to Venice. Yeah, Becky gave me this ages ago and she was like, it's real dark. I was like, it's fine, I'll try it anyway. No, I really like it. So I use this more towards the back. And then I go in with Hula Light and I just go over it, round it up and down it, it just blends it out into my paler skin. I mean you could use any really light bronzer obviously to like blend out a darker bronzer. I have cat hair on my face. But I have and love my Hula Light so I'm going to use it. Blush. Let's use, let's use Milani Luminoso to start. We old classic. Old favourite. I don't think it's a favourite anymore. I still really like it. I just don't reach for it a huge amount. 
is very pretty. And then, just a wee pinch, a wee pinch, don't, don't yell at me, a wee pinch of silence is golden. Just to buff that out. What highlight will I use? Okay, I'm gonna use this one and it's super, super bouge. Daniela gave it to me as a present. It's a Dior one. I actually don't know the shade, but it's very pale. Like it works for my skin tone and it's so beautiful. Like I would never have bought this, but I think she got it on Depop for like a really good price. Um, a woman had like bought heaps of them when Debenhams was shutting down. So the price was like really good. This just feels, smells, looks bougie. It's like a more, I would say, like natural looking cookie. Like it's really beautiful. Hopefully Daniela can tell me what shade it is. So I can link it. A bit of setting spray. We'll use a glowy one. We'll use my iconic London. There's very little in this, but I do have another one. Do I? Yeah, I do. Oh, setting spray just brings everything together, doesn't it? Right, I'm gonna go chuck on just a black line, just because I need to, and then I'll put lashes on, and then a lip. I'm gonna use these Artitude lashes I got sent. I think they're called, no, what are they called? Baddy. Oh, they're nice, oh, they're nice. Oh, I like those, they're nice and thick. I'm going to use my Jeffree Star I'm Nude. Uh, I've got it. I'm just using it up. You know the drill. You know, the, you know the score with this. And what I tend to do, just to keep things a bit more not so matte, is go in with like a lipstick. So it's MAC Flesh Pot. And I'll just add this on top. Oh, it's that me down. Is that my face done? I think that is my face done for a day out. Having fun. Okay, I'll just fix myself up and that will be done. I am going to finish off, I already put a wee bit on, with my Maybelline Tease Gloss. I feel like my lips are looking a wee bit dry and I want to spruce them up a bit. Don't know how that's going to go under a mask but we'll work it out. Here's messy, whatever I've done. I did this really quickly even though I was filming like usually I would sit and do makeup for hours and hours but this I just I need to get this done because I've got so much to do before I go out with my friends. Uh, I love this makeup look. I feel comfortable in it. It makes me feel good. Blue, smoky eye, glitter, nude lip. What isn't there to love? So yeah I hope you enjoyed this. If you did give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. I want to do this makeup look in every colour. Like I want to do pink green you know what I mean because it's so easy to do and fast um link to become a patreon down below if you want to become a sausage and I'm gonna piss off have a lovely day whatever it is you're doing and uh I'm gonna catch you on the flip side bye